What up to my dolls? I am Leon Talia, also known as Lydia Yours Truly, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this beautiful makeup look that I did and also telling you some things I learned while dating in my 30s. So I went to Ulta Girl, grab your popcorn, grab your drinky drink, and let's get into this look. Like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next slide. Welcome you guys to um, this makeup video. I went to Ulta, I got some new makeup and so I wanted to try it out. I'm going to talk to you guys about the products as I do my makeup as well as tell you guys my post breakup lessons or things that I learned while dating in my 30s. So it's just a few and I hope y'all motherfucking take some notes. <laughs> However, uh, I don't want to talk too much. We're just going to get down into the video. Make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified whenever I post another video. Because your girl going to be coming through. And yeah, I love y'all. Let's get into it. Hey, babies. So I know in the beginning of this video, I told you that I went to Ulta. And I got a bag. Okay, I spent a bag in Ulta. I got some new makeup. So we are about to hop into this video. I'm going to be going over some of the things that I have learned so far with dating in my 30s. And we finna slay this post breakup makeup. You heard her. <laughs> so normally I like doing my brows off camera, y'all. So I'm going to do my brows off camera because I be having to focus and girl, it won't get done. So I got this Brow Wiz Pencils, the Anastasia Better Billy Hills Brow Wiz in the color Dark Brown. I normally get this in chocolate and I normally use the pomade in chocolate. So I feel like this is going to be new for me. Hopefully it shows up the way that I want it to. Um, it seemed to be pretty good when I just do that do that line on there. I don't want to be too y'all know this this it get gone fast so we gotta be quick we gotta be precise you know what I'm saying because I'll be feeling like this gets gone but I'm gonna do these brows and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get started with the shit that I'm gonna learn since dating in my 30s. Okay let's get these brows on another thing I don't know if y'all can see it real well or not but I just went through and did some of the outline I really didn't like shape the brow or nothing and I'm gonna go in with my LA girl pro concealer in cool tan and I'm just going to um shape out my brows because I've been seeing on TikTok that the girls have been shaping out their brows first before they like fill them in and I feel like I like that look so I ain't gonna actually fill it in into the end when I get done with my makeup, okay? And another thing, I end up buying a new light flat brush. It's this Morphe brush, it was $6. It's in the um, Oval Camouflage Concealer Brush, M224. I haven't opened this one yet because this is a concealer brush and I don't know where it's from, y'all. I done had this brush for so long. I just wanted to use the one I had right here, so I don't know why I didn't open it, but. I didn't, I didn't. I just wanna use the one I got, so. I'm outlining the brows, and like I said, this take a little minute, so I'll be back. I'm gonna do this off the camera. What's crazy is, I forgot to prime my face. My face was already moisturized, but I got the e.l.f. Power Group Primer. I already had the pink one, which has four percent of D9 cinema in it um but I wanted to get this one because they said this one is just like the milk one it's a dupe and I love the milk primer when I was using it it feels good consistency feels good so I'm excited I'm excited about this and so, okay, I know y'all like, girl, get into it, get into it. I'm filming for TikTok as well as for YouTube. So if I be over talking or double talking or if I, in the edits of this, then y'all know why. But it's out there. <laughs> if you seen the title of this video, then y'all know that I'm going through another breakup. Okay? And it's okay. I'm okay. 
I'm gonna be okay. Um, everything fine, which is why I decided to do a video with doing makeup because I feel like the girls just don't be sitting here talking to the camera doing their makeup like they used to be. Like back when I used to watch YouTube and people was going through things. This is the type of shit that we would go watch and it would kind of be comforting. We would be able to talk about it. We learn some new things. We learn some new makeup tips. And we also learn some shit from the experience of whatever the person we watching went through so we can apply it to our own life. So I was like, I kind of want to bring that element back to my channel. And so that's why we here. That's what we finna do. <laughs> So I'm finna put on foundation. I had went and got the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Carcass Medium Deep 3. And I felt like I needed a little bit darker tone because I had Cadiz and it was like Cadiz is what I used to wear. But I did my makeup like right here. And as you can see, it was given white. So hopefully I don't have to go back and get the Cadiz to mix with this because these are $52, baby. These are $52. And what I can say is NARS is that girl. NARS is that girl. So I'm hoping that this color comes out the way I want it to. I'm praying. But okay, period. So when it comes to things that I have been learning now that I'm in my 30s, uh, when it comes to breakup, I wrote these down and I'm not saying it in no particular order. I don't mean for it to be in no particular order but this is just what it is and these are the things that i feel like i have fucking learned so i was like it's cliche <laughs> but when someone shows you who they are when they show you the first time who they are you need to believe them and i say it's cliche because i think everybody hears that once or twice in their life especially if you are a woman and you dating people your your elders are like baby if they show you who they are believe them believe them the first time don't let it have to be two and three times and now you around here looking stupid for you to be trying to be all sad when the motherfucker already showed you from the get-go who they are right and if you decide to stay with somebody if you decide to deal with somebody after they done already showed you who they are then at that point you know that it's some things within you that you got to work on that you're going to have to grow through. And you might as well just prepare yourself for the lessons, baby. Like, don't <laughs> just prepare yourself for the lessons. I'm telling you right now. I not believe it. I don't give two f But I am telling you right now that m that m back there is not real. If somebody shows you who they are, if you know I already caught this person in a lie, if you hear the things that they saying without actually telling you, you know how if y'all having a conversation and y'all may be talking about some shit that y'all did in the past or something like that, and you hear some a red flag and you decide to look over it because you think you different or you think you um you think this motherfucker gonna treat you different because they they saying that you different, they saying that you ain't the same as them, they saying that. All the, you y'all know how the shit go. Y'all already know how the shit go. They telling you, oh, I did this because I I hadn't grown at that point. No, they telling you how they finna treat you. They telling you exactly what they finna do to you, and they trying to see how much you willing to take. So if you hear these red flags and you keep on wanting to believe in your mind that this is the person for you, you don't want to believe who they showing you they are or who they telling you they are. That's on you and that's going to show you what things inside of you that you need to work on. So that's my first thing that I learned in my 30s. Okay. Believe in motherfucker the first time. As far as concealers, I didn't buy any new concealers. Oh, well, I did buy one concealer, but that's a contour. So anyways, I'm using the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer by Charlotte Tilbury. I got it in the color 10 Tan. And that is going to be my first base for concealing my areas that i'm going to be highlighting so this isn't highlighting this is just concealing okay y'all know i like a pretty bright under eye so yeah I 
Okay, so while that dries, I think this next one, y'all, is a lesson that we all have to learn at some freaking point. Like, I, I don't feel like it's no age requirement. I just feel like this is something that if you don't know anybody or you don't have access to hearing this information, then you just wouldn't know about it. So, it's don't trauma bond. And I'm not talking about trauma bonding into the point where both of y'all done went through badass situations so y'all only relating over that one situation no i'm saying don't trauma bond as in don't tell your new person any of the bad things that your old person did to you that is that is grounds for toxicity at its finest okay if you wanted to sign up to go to toxic world that is the biggest mistake that you can make by telling your new person anything bad that your old person did to you so when i say it's going to be used against you every single time it's going to be used against you every single time and half of the shit it ain't even like they gonna do it on purpose it's just the fact that you sitting on the phone or you in person or you on a date and you telling them how your last person treated you like shit, how they didn't do this, how they didn't do that, how you had to do this and how you had to do that and you had to provide and you had to do all this extra shit. You basically giving them a blueprint of what they can expect you to do for them, right? And then you telling them they mapping it out and they had already like, oh, okay, so this person did this and you still stay and you still took that. So therefore, I'm just going to go like a step down from what they did because it ain't going to be as bad as what they did to you. But I'm still going to do some fucked up shit. It just ain't going to be what they did. So at the end of the day, I'm still not as bad as them. So why you ain't staying? You feel me? That's why that's rule number one. Do not do that. Abort mission, bitch. Call your therapist. Call your best friend. If you want to get off your chest about what your last nigga did to you, do not tell it to the new nigga that you are talking to. Period. Okay, so the next thing I got is this Fenty Beauty Match Stick. This is my first one, y'all. Y'all know I'm about Fenty lipstick. I'm about Fenty um, lip glosses. I'm obsessed with them, but I had never used her actual face products as far as the foundation and the contour stick or concealer or anything so this is my first one hold on t beauty match stick in the color truffle 04 and i'm going to use this to contour i'm super excited it's my first one it's so curt it's so curt so i'm gonna use this to contour hopefully that'd be dark enough I don't really have no dense like contour brush, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Um, I don't know where it's from, but I'm gonna try it. I don't think it's dense enough. Like when you contour, it gotta be a little hard, but I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna blend it. I don't know if this one is dark enough. I feel like I could have went a little darker on the contour. But let's see. We're gonna see how I look when I when I get done. And then we'll know if I need to take it back or not. Cause we trying new products. We switching shit up. You heard me. We switching it up. Oh no, y'all. I kinda like this. I kinda like it. Oh no. I know it looks scary right now to y'all. But when you trust the process, I promise you, we'd be putting all this shit together. They put all this shit together, but we're finna get into the next tip, okay? Baby, when I say get your notebook and write this one down, write this one down, and I need you to maybe put this at the top. Because this is one of the most important ones that I feel like <laughs> girls need to know. Because this is where I see where they fuck up. And it's just being honest. Do not ever oversell loyalty. Okay? 
please, baby. That nigga do not need to know how loyal you was to your last boyfriend, your last girlfriend, how loyal you was by staying in the house, how loyal you was. You didn't talk to no other nigga. You didn't cheat. You never cheated. You was just such a good girl. You was just, you know, such an amazing person. You was being a good wife. You just told the nigga how the last nigga was playing you, how um he was treating you this kind of way and doing all this other stuff. And then you gonna go and tell the new one that you was lawyer poo. That is grounds <laughs> for the you basically just gave him the skates and took him to the ring. You done gave him the skates and took him to the ring. Now this nigga is at Cascade sliding and swooping. Sliding and swooping with your feelings. You hear me? I'm trying to tell y'all, that's the worst thing that you can ever do. And I learned this in my 30s because I feel like in your 20s, you just trying to be open. You trying to be honest. Like you really want something long standing. You want somebody consistent. You trying to be consistent. So you like, I'm being honest. They need to be honest. No, don't ever do it. And honestly and truthfully, that nigga needs to be sweating every time he feel like or she feel like you are not finna be around them you finna go out to dinner with your friends you finna go out there run to go to tj maxx by yourself you finna go to walmart i don't care if you're going to ikea baby that motherfucker need to have in they head that <laughs> you ain't got loyalty in you it ain't that you ain't got loyalty in you it's just that i need to make sure i'm doing such a good job that my woman don't see nobody else don't even want to talk to nobody else so i need to make sure that i'm on my p's and my q's and i'm dotting my i's and crossing my t's so that my woman stays focused on me that's what you need to have set up in their head the second concealer that i'm going in with is the hourglass vanish airbrush concealer in the color doom i don't know if this one is light enough but if not i put a third concealer on top I just really wanted to use this one because we're using new products, new makeup. Period. Time I'm back and forth. Cheap niggas make you pee. Rich niggas get you bought. Get a Bentley to ballet and let that nigga dry the bone. Let me pop off. Lead a club, sloppy drunk, come home and get my rocks off. Herbie's from the south, he trying to see me knock his socks off. Told them bitches meet me at the top. I'm also going to go in with my Juvia's Place blush in the color Rosy Posey. And this one is very potent, so we are going to use dots. But I like to be pink, so I know y'all like, that's a lot of dots. But I promise you, I like to be pink. So, it ain't too much for me. Never too much, never too much, never too much, never too much. Mm-mm-mm. Rob 49 said it. Homebodies get cheated on. Baby, believe me. You, that's what get me into my next point. That's what takes me into my next point. It is imperative that you have your own life. It's imperative that you create space. It is imperative that you do your own thing and create that sense of I miss you because the masculine energy likes to chase. Anything that they feel like they've already captured, that they already got tamed, that they already got a grip of, they are going to just play with it. Like when a cat catches the mouse, it don't kill it at first. It plays with it. It plays with it because now you're for my entertainment. You're here for entertainment purposes. Entertain me. You feel what I'm saying? Have your own life. Go out with your friends. Create memories with your family. Create memories with yourself. Like, be so in love with yourself that you don't expect this person to fulfill that void that you searching for you ain't no longer expecting the love to come from just the person that you're in a relationship with and that is so important and so vital and it took me so long to learn that right because like when i was in my 20s and stuff and i and i was dating or i, I wouldn't date i was in relationships 
everything was about getting in a relationship and that's gonna we're gonna get into that too everything was about getting into a relationship but when i was in my 20s it was like oh clink clink we finna lock it down clink clink lock it down okay this my nigga <laughs> you mine and i want to spend all my time with you and honestly and truthfully that's actually a character flaw that shows where you need work where you need to work on being secure and where you really need to work on loving self and work on being with self and it shows your codependency and that's something that i struggle with struggled with a lot okay i struggle with it a lot but do y'all see this blush? <laughs> it eats, it eats. I'm telling you, when you got a hobby, when you have your own life, it just makes you mysterious. It makes the person feel like they want to continuously get to know parts of you. And it gives them something to work towards. Like, now they have to work for your time. Because you can't just call me on friday and say hey can i take you out on saturday but no you can't take me out on saturday because i already got to go to zumba at 11. and then after i go to zumba i already decided i signed up for this pottery class at four and after i go to pottery i'm going to go home and i'm going to soak in the bathtub listen to some r&b and drink me a glass of wine so i might have time for you next week wednesday at three how about that you know what i'm saying instead as women, we be trying to, like, get them all our time. We be trying to, like, revolve our world around them. And that's, honestly, where we fuck up. That's where we fuck up. And I learned that. I learned that it took me to be in my 30s to learn that. And that's why Glowing Girls is outside. Glowing Girls is outside. Baby, I got a trip. Um, that I'm hosting. It's a group trip. We're going to Costa Rica October 10th through the 16th. If you need something to do, if you've been thinking about going on, it wouldn't be like a solo trip, but it is like a solo trip because you fly solo there. But I suggest even bring a friend, ask a friend to go with you, but get outside, do something to make you happy, invest in yourself, invest in traveling and seeing the world and being cultured because Going back to step two, going back to the thing that I told you not to do when you telling this person how your last person never took you on dates, uh, had you waiting at home, crying, sad, um, like always playing stuff but never felt fell through. A confirmation. Somebody needed to hear that always playing stuff but never follow through with anything. When you telling them this, you telling them what you gonna take. You telling them what you deserve and. If you doing this for yourself, if you taking yourself on trips, if you buying yourself nice things, if you going to get your nails done, your toes done, your lashes done, you getting massages, you treating yourself, you giving yourself princess treatment, they have no choice but to come in and treat you like a queen. And that's point blank, period. The only way they won't is if you settle for it. You hear me? So I'm about to go in with um one last concealer <laughs> and i know y'all looking like what i'm actually gonna go in with one last concealer and like another level of like blush because i want this to eat and this is the glowgasm beauty light one by charlotte tiberi um so this is just something to emphasize what i already got going on and i'm gonna put it right there okay because i like a good rosy look and y'all been liking this lately and the concealer that i'm about to go in with my nose is itching do y'all make up do that it just started itching oh no freaking word this is the elf 16 hour camo i don't know what they say but it's this elf concealer right and i got it in the color medium peach and i'm just going to apply a few dots to give me that bright under eye and then i'm going to set it and i'm going to set it using the ultra pink by um one size i've been liking this a lot but i'm only setting my under eye using this nothing else okay and nothing else so i'm gonna go ahead and do that let me film this part for tiktok and this is really to just give me that light under eye and then i'm gonna go in with the one size um in the pink we're gonna set it down we're gonna set it down 
I was thinking, should I use the brush or should I use the beauty blender? Um, I'm going to see how I like it with just the beauty blender first. I'm scared because I don't be using beauty blenders, y'all. Like I said, I just be feeling like it be picking up too much of my product. And I be liking to see the product on my face, not on the damn beauty blender. <sighs> see, I feel like, let me do this side with the brush. My brush is dirty, but I feel like the brush just be eating. The brush be eating. Like you see the difference? You see how dull that look with the beauty blender and how this look with the brush? The brush just hits different. The brush be eating. That's why I don't, I don't be using them down beauty blenders like that no more and i used to only i used to do my whole face with a beauty blender no not no more like no because that took up half my product that took up half my product and i don't like that eat Okay, so what we're about to do now is take the one size in the ultra pink. I have been loving it. It don't show up as pink as I thought it was. Um, but it definitely shows up a little pink. Either way, I'm finna set this shit with <clears throat> two other powders. So, I really don't have to do this step. But I just want to. Just because I want to. See what it do. And make sure you dusting it off. And we're gonna press it in. Oh, girl. This all you? It don't smell like roaches in here or nothing. <laughs> Look at And how you know when your makeup making you happy. Do y'all see? Stop laying with the one size, bro. Like, please. And this is only gonna get better. This is gonna be so top tier. This makeup finna eat so bad like you would think i was a makeup artist and this is something i've been doing my whole life it's gonna eat so bad it's gonna <sighs> baby please so this is the fenty pro filter banana powder okay and so we're gonna take that same little beauty sponge with the fenty pro beauty the fenty pro beauty banana powder we're gonna dust it off and we are going to outline these parts right here. We're going to carve it out. Carve it out. Like, what's her name? Who be saying that? We're going to carve it out. And then I'm going to just go ahead and, like, set these areas. And that's because I get oily in my T-zone. So, I be having to make sure shit is matte down. I love a matte finish, y'all. If y'all can tell. That's how I love it. Now, my makeup don't be looking like some of the girls that be like, they, they face be matte. Like, bitch, it look like you painting on a whole mask. I ain't got to that level yet. However, it be cute. It be cute. It don't be for me, but it be curt, okay? I just like a good little soft glam. You hear me? Um, that's that be birthday makeup that they be wearing every day. I don't got that to do. I don't got that to do. <laughs> My next two products are going to be by Mac. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna intensify this contour, and I'm gonna use the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, and I got it in um dark to deep and i use this middle one because that is the color that i be needing and so for this i'm gonna take that same like contour brush i'm gonna dust this off but we just finna um set and deepen up and intensify <clears throat> look how that's a lot that contour damn me got me choking Y'all see how I messed that up? Don't worry. We're going to go in like this. And it's just all about blending it out. Blending it out. And I'm going to blend it upward, actually. Because that brush picked up a lot. 
Guess that little contour brush do work. It picked up a lot, but we gonna blend it out. Blend it, blend it, blend it. So we can't see it no more. I mean, you wanna see it, but to it ain't harsh. I hope y'all listen to me for real, but we gonna go in with the MAC um, Studio Fix. Um, and this is an NW45. And this is what we are about to do to like take all this off our face and like set our face basically and i got these for 50 percent off at the ultra sale y'all these are normally 44 dollars. i got it for 22 dollars. that's why i got two of them so i feel happy and tap 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 i love these things tap 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 and we're gonna clean it up clean it up set this whole thing Okay, <sighs> what am I gonna go in with now? I'ma just do my regular, deepen up my blush. Set my blush. Y'all probably like, why you put on so many blushes? I love blush, I love blush. And for eyeshadow, y'all know I don't do a lot. I don't play around with eyeshadow like that, so it don't take a lot for me. Um, So I'm going in in the Morphe palette in the color 35p and oh what broke stuff fell down on me i'm gonna take this brush i wish i knew i think this brush set just came from tj maxx or something and i'm going to go in with like these two browns right here um because y'all know i don't really play around with this like that like this ain't my thing eyeshadow is not my thing so and I'm just tapping it. I really don't swipe. Sometimes I'll swirl like this. But I really just tap. And I put it over my whole lid. To just give some dimension. Okay y'all. So still doing eyeshadow. But another thing that I learned while dating in my 30s. Is to set your boundaries early. So if you like me. You probably are just learning about boundaries, having boundaries, setting boundaries, because maybe you were traumatized as a child, you went through a lot of trauma, or you had like traumatic experiences. And so you probably don't always struggle with being a people pleaser. Um, and it's been very hard for you to set boundaries because you didn't want to hurt like people's feelings. And if you're a Libra, you got this like double hard. So, for me, what I've learned, like, is set your boundaries at the beginning. Like, have your non-negotiables and stand on them. Because the moment you fold on something that you said that you did not like or you would not tolerate, like I said, you just set it up for somebody to know how to treat you. Because if I told you that I don't like this, and then you do that very thing that I don't like, and I said if you do this thing, then I'm going to have to cut you off, and you did it anyway, you don't respect me anyway because why would you want to cross my boundary? Why would you want to hurt my feelings? Why would you want to do that? So therefore you don't respect me and I gotta let you go. And I feel like the earlier you learn how to cut things off, the less it will um, affect you in the long run. And you know, you can go on, be happy about your day. And me, I'm, I'm just got to be honest. Like, I'm a lover girl. Like, I am a lover girl. People get with me, they want to stay in a relationship with me. Um, <laughs> They do not be wanting to let me go. And one of my toxic traits is I don't be wanting to let people go either because I struggle with codependency. So once I'm attached to you, I feel like I'm attached to you and I feel like it's mine. However, shit can't work that way. There is no giving people the benefit of the doubt. It should have never been no doubt in the benefit. Okay, there should never be there should have never been no doubt in the benefit. So I got no benefit of the doubt to give, and you learn very fast that you can't be so lenient. And if someone loves you and they respect you or they know your worth, honestly, if they feel like it's something that you deserve that they can't give you, they will go do the work on their own and treat you accordingly and let that whole process kind of just like play itself out. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be no pushback. It wouldn't be no struggle love. It wouldn't be none of that because motherfuckers just respect what it is you know what i'm saying 
And that leads me to another thing. And this is going to be some extra because we almost done here and I'm going to get ready to end this video. This ain't really nothing that I learned in my 30s because this is something that's always been a part of me. But I have noticed about a lot of females um, that I've been around. Y'all always worried about the other bitch, the next bitch, the last bitch, or anything like that. Like, in the beginning, if you dating somebody or you start dating somebody and y'all getting to know each other and they tell you, like, of course you want to know what type of woman the person was in to prior but you don't have to know this whole bitch um history okay you ain't gotta know her ins or her outs because if somebody's trying to throw salt on the last person in order to get with you then they flaw they motherfucking self because that is not how you do it if you gotta down the last person that you was with if you gotta um talk down on if they talking down on the last person they was with, that's red flag number one. Because why the fuck shit just can't work out? If I got to come in telling you how this one don't do this and this one don't do that, then it's a whole problem. And it's something that needs to be worked out with them. That is not playing your role. And I feel like as a woman, where I be seeing a lot of females mess up is they don't know how to play their role. Like they don't know how to um, just read the room, if that makes sense. And I say this to a sense, if you start dating someone, you dating, learn how to date. Learn how to date. You dating, they dating. Just because y'all start dating don't mean the roster got to be clear. The, the roster, you have to work to clear the roster, okay? The roster do not have to be cleared on. They in or your in just because y'all don't enter each other's orb. No, it do not work that way. Hold on. This is this is Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Set Spray. I love this so much. So I bought the big bottle. We spent the big books. I love this so much. And I'm I'm still not all the way done, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> and normally I set two or three times in between me doing my makeup, but I've been talking so. I had a lot going on. But so far, I feel like this is looking pretty cute. In the mirror, like when I'm looking at it, I'm like, is this coming off dark? But when I'm looking at it in the camera, it seems like it's coming off really cute. So I'm going to actually love to want to see this in the natural light. I kind of like this carcass color. It's not coming up like Michael Jackson. So that's good for me. Um, oh, It was something else that I was supposed to do, though. Oh. And then my last step in this is going to be using the MAC NW30, the Studio Fix, because I'm going to use this as like a brightening powder. I have brightening powders, but I'm, I wanted to use this one as like a brightening powder. So this is the MAC um, Studio Fix in the color NW30. And hopefully this is light enough because what... Because who? You did what? With who? You did what? <laughs> but you go take this and basically, um, let's see what it does. Actually, you can use this with this. And I feel like it's going to give you a better. Flawless finish, and yeah, oh my god, y'all see the difference? Yo, mm -hmm. this yeah, this changed the game. New face, who did? Oh. You outside being a new bitch. <laughs> like what? Oh, oh my God. Yo. That. And at this point. I'm using this on all my highlighted areas. On all the areas I won't highlight it. Oh. Oh baby that eats. And I'm going to go in with the other color and use that down here. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I have no words. I have no words. I have no words. This is blush. I'm just going in to warm me back up. And baby, she's gonna go in and set again. I'm gonna use a different set spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Spray. And on top of that, I'm gonna use this, ma'am, this e.l.f. Um, Stay All Night Blue Light Micro Setting Mix. So it helped with like if I'm using flash or something. And then we're gonna do some lips and I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So I bought quite a few lipsticks because I was really trying to get my reds up. I had bought this Kylie Jenner lip kit in the color Mary J. Mary Jo K. It's a matte red liquid lipstick with the pencil. And I also bought the Fenty um the MVP red lipstick, but I'm not putting on red lipstick today. So we you just put those to the side. I did get two of the Anastasia ones. So I really wanted this guava color. And the only way I could get this dang old guava color was to buy this kit, this lip duo or whatever. So it came with guava and deep taupe. And um, both of these are still along the lines of the colors I like to wear. So I'm excited about that. And then the other one I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills is their soft pink. And so, um, yeah. These are the three different pinks I got. And we finna create something with these today. And then like a week or so ago, I got this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color Naked from TJ Maxx. So these are all my different pinks that I have from Anastasia, y'all. These are all my different pinks. If y'all want to do want me to do a video trying these, then just let me know. I also have like my MAC um please me y'all i got so many different pinks over here my mac please me i got this pink which is from my niece kiara key cosmetics so all of them do different things all of them bring out different sides of that girl however we are sticking to it we using mac chestnut to line my lips i did clean my lips up i took some micellar water and a little thing and i'm just gonna line these lips up this should be sharpening this but i don't got time y'all um i'll be really having to focus on this and this camera needs to charge anyway so let me do that hold on five minutes later okay this is just my lip liner this is only the mac chestnut and then i take my finger and i kind of like brush it around to get like my perfect like it's kind of giving like the 90s lip or whatever and then i take my concealer brush and i go around the edges make sure they doing what they do and then i do kind of uh overline my lips just a tad just a tad they already big but baby it's not about them being big it's about creating shape Okay, we creating shape. So, um, <laughs> now we got to figure this shit out. What lippy are we about to start with? I feel like I'm going to go in with this Anastasia, um, Mauve. Oh, no, it's called Deep Taupe. I'm going to go in with this Deep Taupe because we finna build a lip. These feel so good. These, see this not, okay. Okay, that just gave me like a little chocolate look. Okay, deep taupe. 
And I ain't gonna lie. I wanna use guava. <laughs> I wanna use guava. I wanna use guava. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. This is what I want. <laughs> Why are they sticking together like that? Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I'm gonna do another. Because we want it right. Now these are glosses. I love this type of lip look in a matte look or a gloss look. Like this is crazy. I'ma actually top it off with my um MAC Please Me. I'm gonna see because I don't have my fancy fussy over here. Uh uh. That's calming it down too much. Now I'ma just keep Keep the guava, keep the guava. I'm actually gonna put one more layer to make me happy. I'm gonna leave it alone because that's so pretty. So I'm gonna do my hair and then I'll be back. Mm-hmm. Mm. Five minutes later. Okay, this is just my lip liner this is only the mac chestnut and then i take my finger and i kind of like brush it around to get like my perfect like it's kind of giving like the 90s lip or whatever and then i take my concealer brush and i go around the edges make sure they doing what they do and then i do kind of uh overline my lips just a tad just a tad they already big but baby it's not about them being big it's about creating shape okay we creating shape so um <laughs> now we gotta figure this shit out what lippy are we about to start with i feel like i'm gonna go in with this anastasia um mauve oh no it's called deep taupe i'm gonna go in with this deep taupe because we finna build a lip These feel so good. These, see this not, okay. Okay, that just gave me like a little chocolate look. Okay, deep taupe. And I ain't gonna lie, I wanna use guava. <laughs> I wanna use guava. I wanna use guava. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yes. Uh huh. This is what I want. <laughs> Why are they sticking together like that? Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I'm gonna do another. Cause we want it right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is so pretty. Now these are glosses. 
I love this type of lip look in a matte look or a gloss look. Like, this is crazy. I'm going to actually top it off with my um, MAC Please Me. I'm going to see because I don't have my fancy fussy over here. Uh -uh. That's calming it down too much. Now, I'm going to just keep, keep the guava. Keep the guava. I'm actually going to put one more layer to make me happy. that's so pretty so i'm gonna do my hair and then i'll be back mm -hmm. all right babies so i finished my hair and i finished my makeup um i think i left off showing y'all the lipsticks but the lip combo i have on is the mac chestnut and then i went in with the mauve right i did that as the base and then i went on top of that with the guava however the guava ended up wearing off so my butt went in with um the soft pink and then on top of the soft pink i put the naked so i got a lot of stuff on my lips um, hopefully you guys like the lip combo and hopefully you like the conversation doing this makeup. I can say that the NARS carcass is a little too orange for me. I saw a girl on TikTok basically saying that she had got this, um, blue color correcting that she mixed with the orange and it made it so much better so i'm probably gonna go get that but more likely too i'll end up getting the cadiz and then mixing them both together and that should tone down this orange and make like my perfect color other than that to finish off what we were saying giving y'all like a little bit more um input on things that i learned in my 30s i could talk about this all day so if y'all want another more in-depth video where it's just a sit down video and that's it then let me know and let me know if you like this type of video as well thumbs it up turn on your post notifications and leave me a comment but last but not least i had just saw and i don't know if this is a part of marketing or whatever but i had just saw where ari posted like she's so single and she posted she's so single and the money bag was like, girl, this is what it is, this, this, and this, or whatever, however it was. But I remember a few months ago when she did the interview on Carisha Please, um, on Revolt, she talked about how he had cheated on her, but she felt like I'm just gonna leave him and I'm gonna go find another nigga and they probably gonna end up doing the same thing, so I might as well stay with my nigga. Her saying that on public TV and her saying that in general didn't do nothing but let that nigga know that she was going to stay with him regardless. She was going to not leave him. Even if she going to get her leg back or even whatever, it just let him know like, yeah, I got it like that. So another thing that I learned in my 30s is um, <laughs> the same thing. is If you say you going to do something, do it. If you say, if you cheat on me, I'm going to leave you. When that nigga cheat on you, leave him. If you say, if you talk to me crazy, I'm not going to tolerate that. And they talk to you crazy and you go back and you tolerate it. They just going to keep talking to you crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of the things that I've learned in my 30s have got to do with boundaries, have got to do with my own attachment issues and my own codependency issues that I have been healing and have been working towards. And, you know, to a certain extent, we are what we attract. And I feel like as far as me, um, I grew up around narcissistic people. So I tend to attract people with those characteristics right but so this is something that like, you got to pay attention to and something you got to take heed to and you got to learn how to heal because it's not just something you would just notice right but if you see you keep going through the same cycle over and over you keep repeating the same pa patterns or you getting with peter and paul is the same as peter and then you get with alan and alan is the same as paul then yeah you already know what it is <laughs> so 
Um, I don't want to make this video too long. I feel like it's already like drawn out. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all for supporting. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you feel about this makeup look, about the whole look, period. You feel me? And let me know what you think about the things that I'm gonna learn so far. It's so many more. So if you want more videos like this where we just sitting down, we talking, we chatting it up. Let me know because clearly I have time now. Mm -hmm. Clearly I have time now. <laughs> you know, when Libras get out of a relationship, um, a lot of their time clear up. <laughs> a lot of their time clear up, which goes into the lesson. Have your own life. Create the space and let a motherfucker miss you, you know? I love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified whenever I post another video. It's your girl, Lily. I love y'all and have a good day.